the moral foundations of society are crumbling in every area, and the legal arena is no exception. If one studies the history of legal education in the United States, you'll see there was a dramatic shift in the type of legal education that existed in this country. And it shifted in the late 1800s, primarily because of the influence of Charles Darwin and the evolutionary thought. So as time went on, uh, and legal education continued to look to man as the only source of law, we have a, a change in our legal uh, education, our legal structures, our legal culture. But God has opened up a door for ministry, allowing us to make an impact in the legal arena through the work of the Oak Brook College of Law and Government Policy. The vision was to train people who would use their God-given abilities and their calling to serve in the legal profession, train them to be advocates of truth and counselors of reconciliation and ministers of justice. God is opening up incredible opportunities for service to those who are willing to fight for truth. This year, Oak Brook College celebrated its 10th anniversary. We have alumni working with parental notification laws in California. We have some working with judges and in county prosecutor's office. The college has experienced tremendous growth in the initiation of a new continuing legal education program for its graduates, as well as having the largest orientation class that we've had since its founding. Hurricane Katrina is now a Category 5 hurricane. A mandatory evacuation has been ordered. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, thousands of people were stripped of every earthly possession they ever had. Some walked away with just the clothes on their back, meager tokens of a lifetime of work and memories. In the midst of such loss, such devastation, such pain, people needed some sort of hope. The alert men and the step team were called on August 30th to help with the enormous relief efforts. They immediately began making an impact. Their jobs included assisting in Red Cross shelters, administering first aid and offering support wherever else it was needed, and greatly needed it was. This became the largest response we've ever had in the history of ALERT. Not only did our men go out and serve on disaster relief, uh, but we also had the STEP program involved and uh, even ATI families who wanted to find out how they could help. With the thousands upon thousands of people left homeless, emergency shelters across the South were filled to their limits. We were called by the state and asked if we could open an evacuation center. And so we did. And we ended up with another 700 people coming into our convention center where we set up beds. We had um, Salvation Army, Red Cross, and the Department of Public Safety people here as part of the whole team. God is at work, even in the midst of devastation, opening doors for His eternal work. Another opportunity to invest in lives came this summer as 40 Romanian students visited the United States in August. The Romanian students came from many different backgrounds and walks of life. Most of them, when they came here, uh, were not Christians. While they were here, the students toured various cities and visited different training centers. Dr. Gothard also con conducted uh, several group sessions as well as individual sessions with each of the students. At the conference and basic seminar, he was saying about uh, what young people do wrong and in almost 
everything he said young people do wrong, I find, found myself. They realized that my life is not good, it's not good at all. These students were here simply to receive character training. But God had other plans. As we talked with them and interacted with them, uh, we got to see that they really uh, did come away changed. In October, a group from IBLP visited Romania. They met with top government officials about ways the Institute could continue to serve Romania's people. Our visit to Bihar State was amazing. The openness of the people, we were met by the mayor of the city of Aradia, the governor, the chief of police. We met with about 45 uh, teachers and, and directors of schools. It was an incredible opportunity and the openness was amazing. The Institute was offered several locations where they could establish a training center to expand their work in this nation. In this one particular city, uh, Shai, the entire city came out with open arms and pretty much just gave us the keys to their city. During the trip, the team had a joyful reunion with the 40 students and was reminded yet again of God's power to change lives. When I talked to Mr. Dutton in his office, he told me a prayer in which I recognized Jesus as my Savior. That moment was a great moment. That's when I really discovered Jesus. I believe that God is up to a really great work in Romania, and I believe that God is entrusting um, the Institute and in Basic Life Principles with an opportunity to share hope and love in a time that couldn't be greater. As we look back over the events of 2005, we see the unfolding story of God's work. We see him opening doors of effective service throughout the world. And most importantly, we see changed lives, touched forever by the power of the Word of God.